they're not letting people slide is is what i'm saying like the the key witness the key witnesses they had today are pointing fingers <laughs> testifying they're definitely looking at um pictures of the people and they're saying their direct names and they're they're actually having them circle who the person is and, and then they're having them say their name so very direct wow. very 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 direct there's no getting around that so people are being names are being named um and and fingers are, are definitely being pointed and i would say the last thing that i learned is when they debrief to talk to each other they used to go up to the judge and they used to like talk amongst each other now they have this noise it's like it sounds like white noise that that happens and then they all put on headsets and they talk through the headsets so there's like certain times where they'll take a little bit of a break and they'll talk to each other on bluetooth headsets and then they make this loud noise so we can't hear anything so i i was like wow that i never seen damn that. so they being like extra cautious with with everything at this point extra cautious with everything at this point i went to court today and damn. I actually was in the courtroom and I got to see who was there. You know what I mean? And right. so who was there? As journalists, a lot of times as journalists, I know a lot of us don't get a chance to travel and, and get out there and really get the story. But this was kind of a story that was really close to home for me because for one, I interviewed FBG Duck's mom. I'm from Chicago. I know, um, you know, I work in the, the industry. So I know right. a lot of these artists that are affiliated with this whole case. Right. And I, I'm non-biased. I am not biased. I'm on no one's side. I am just a journalist. I'm just here to report. I don't know how people are sneaking in phones. I don't know how anybody's doing any of that. And they shouldn't be because that can throw the trial so right. definitely um you know none of that like i i know um sheena talked about it before she had a little bit of a mishap yesterday with um just you know getting caught with having something in her bag like they're definitely being very very strict and they're searching hardcore so so um, what did mama doug have to say about that about getting caught with the you know what i'm saying the stuff in our bag that was actually just an accident. So she okay. just, you know, had something in her bag and just kind of like forgot it was there. And when they search you, they really search you. So it's not like no pretend turn around. Like, no, he was right. looking at my little pockets in my zip, everything. He was filling in all the parts. So it's no hiding nothing. So, you know, she just forgot it and uh, just went home for the day. But it wasn't anything where she can't come back. So she's right back the next day. Okay. Okay. So I know uh, I had heard about um, maybe like a little bit of tension between uh, the size of the courtroom. Did you, did you feel any of that? You know, when you, you, know, were, uh, I, you were there? By the time I got in there, it was already like half of, they were on their second break. So I didn't notice that it was kind of divided. I didn't know that obviously, you know, the, the two sides are two sides. So they are sitting on two sides. One family is on this side. Another family is on this side. But I didn't really notice uh, like any kind of super tension or anything. It's a lot. It was a lot of people in there. So when I first came in, I just sat down and um, yeah. <laughs> that was it. So yeah. uh so what about uh this dude old block little dave man you know i know they say he was testifying like monday tuesday wednesday uh he was cross-examining he was he he was not in court today no the only part that i really uh saw yeah he wasn't in court today he actually actually there was two people that took the stand today and uh he might have been the one that was there before i got there okay so he might have been on the stand today but i was there for trenches news right right i so, saw that today. so what's your take from all this so far Dre? like what's the what's the Dre you know, take i'm gonna you know i i'm happy that we got a chance to just hop on here really quick and just talk about the day really quick but i'm gonna break it down more fully in another follow-up video of just how I really feel about everything and everything that I've seen and, and everything that's happened so far, like a, a good summary video. But I just think the whole thing is really sad. Like overall, the whole entire thing is sad. And this is like the fifth chapter We're we're on like the fifth chapter of, of a novel. This feels like 
a big long lifetime movie today they actually showed us the video of uh the suspects getting into the vehicle leaving parkway and coming back and uh they had you know they were just basically breaking down the video and having people point out what they saw and what happened so that's that's crazy so what's up with this video uh, where they say they actually have footage of the shootout on the Gold Coast. Like, they keep bringing up that they got this footage. Was there any talk about the footage of, because you said it shows them getting in the car, driving, and then coming back. Like, does it, did they talk about the other footage? They have not, but they're going to. They're actually going to be going through all of this footage that's never been released, that the public has never seen. And they're going to be getting into it. The trial is expected to go to about the first week of January, um, and it also depends on how long the jury takes to deliberate, but we got a couple more weeks of this. So there are going to be videos that are going to be released with information. And I think those are videos that are coming up. Cause like I said, today, we just started, we're at the beginning. We're looking at the video of them leaving Parkway Gardens, um, hopping in the car. And we're also looking at the video of them running through a stairwell. We're looking at a video of them coming back in a car and on their way back, they actually got pulled over. Like nobody, I don't think anybody knows this. On their way back, so, so, supposedly, they the cop pulled up behind a cop pulled up behind them as they were turning into Parkway Gardens. We can't see what the cop is saying to them because obviously there's no sound. But the cop said something to them, and then they just left. They could have been telling them pull over, slow down, or something, but we don't know. But it wasn't for wow. anything, obviously. Yeah. So right when they was like on King Drive, Coming pulling back, in. Yeah. There was a cop behind them. And the cop got out and said something to them. Yep. And then and then just let them go and drove let away. Go. Yes. Yep. Wow. Wow. Hey, man. I, <laughs> I appreciate the scoop, man. Miss Drea. Oh, man. Just a little bit of, you know, just a little bit. But it's more yeah, to yeah. come. Stay tuned. Uh to my channel for a full breakdown we're gonna really get into the nitty gritty of the trial and we'll talk more about everything that happened so stay tuned <laughs> hell yeah man for everybody that's not following man make sure y'all go follow man miss drea oh where you go <laughs> remember so remember last month um when we met we talked about the uh the j Bo bmf the big indictment and stuff yes and, and we were laughing because at that time, there was this big rumor that Lil Reese got shot. Yes. And, and I remember telling you, we was just joking. That's the crazy part. But I remember telling you that I heard Lil Reese had got arrested in O-Block for fighting and shit. I heard bro got arrested in O-Block fighting like last week. I don't know if that's true or not. Where are these rumors coming from? That's crazy. <laughs> for real. I didn't hear none of that. I heard but... it was a big ass fight at O-Block and Reese was there and got locked up. Why would Reese be... <laughs> And how did you hear that? First of all, man, I just be knowing shit, man. I Listen, like, I just where, you where do you get the information <laughs> Look, from? <laughs> I just be hearing shit. I can't really divulge where I hear it from, but we laughed it off because it sounded crazy. I I, I remember distinctly. You was like, man, why would Little Reese? Right, I'm like he wouldn't. I'm like he wouldn't be up doing that. Like, why would he be in O Block? You know what I'm saying? Well, come to find out, man, your boy Little Reese, uh, the book and photo just came out. Uh, the boy Lil Reese got arrested uh, October 11th, man, for fighting on 64th and Cal You bet. Really? You know what I'm saying? So that so that day that everybody thought that he got shot, what really happened was this man got a fucking street fight in O Block and got arrested, man. Really? That's what happened, how man. And did, I. How did, so how did that even end up coming out halfway? I don't know. Everybody said he got shot downtown, but. There was there were like there were a few people that was like, man, I heard that nigga got in a fight in O Block and got arrested. I heard it. So that's when I told it to you, but it sounded so stupid, it was like funny. You know what I'm saying? Come wow. to find out, man. The boy Lil Reese yeah, was that's in O Block, man, scrapping like last month. Wow. And did it didn't say like why or what happened? It said trespassing. So he got arrested for trespassing. Um and just on some street shit, it kind of makes sense. Like, if you and somebody crib and you get into it with them and y'all fighting and the police show up, they're going to arrest the person for trespassing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't want to leave my crib type shit. So, it kind of makes sense, man. It's just funny because, you know, the boy Lil Reese be out here, man. He be in the streets, man. 
And I don't think any of the blogs see like that story didn't hit. So you just found you just unearthed the story. Yeah, I mean, nobody knows about it, man. But that's what really happened. But I just I just wanted to share it with you because we literally laughed about this shit like it was a fucking joke. Uh, right, we're like what? Like no, <laughs> and it was true. <laughs> Hey, we laughed about that shit. It was fucking true, man. So, hey, man. Hey, shout out Love Reese, man. I'm just glad he all right, man. I'm glad he ain't get shot and shit. 